Welcome back to another edition. Eat my shirts right here at the Rant and Share, smoking a Pall Mall. Yeah, shout out to Pall Mall, right? Put me a, another paid advertisement banner in here. <laughs> Fuckers. That, I'm still laughing about that. My apologies. And, uh, yeah. Speaking of paid sponsorships, man. You know, I ain't got a problem with people making the money on the YouTube, you know, getting free products for advertisement reasons, you know, like as long as it's an honest review or whatever. But like one real cringe thing I've noticed, and, and this is kind of just a, a me rant about things and stuff, you know, doesn't really have much to do with anything. Well, it kind of does, I guess. I don't know. You, you be the judge. Like... I pay for YouTube Premium, right? I spend the whopping 15 bucks to uh, not watch any more Bud Light commercials, woke Oreo, gay trans, fucking political bullshit ads. You know, like, all that virtue signaling crap. Like, it just gets on my fucking nerves. That's why I quit watching TV like a decade ago, right? Unless it's a movie or something. I do love old shitty movies. I just, it's just a sick fucking pastime of mine. But, you know, like, in my video, right, I'll joke about being sponsored by this, that, or the other thing, right, you're or selling out or something like that. It's obviously a joke, like I'm screwing off, right, with my friends on the internet. There are a lot of people that, like, you know, they do honest product reviews, right? You know, like Jason at the Texas Gun Vault or, you know, numerous others. Like, a company will send them a product, they're like, look... I didn't ask for this, they sent me the thing, I'm going to test it, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion, and that's all they're giving me is the product, and, you know, if you don't like it, you know, leave it down in the comments type of thing, like, I respect that, you know, I respect somebody like, okay, this is my paid sponsor, you know, and I'm going to put their product in my video, and I'm not really going to talk about it, but you see it's there, and, you know, subliminal messaging, like, okay, fine, but what really fucking gets to me like, I pay for the YouTube Premium, and, like, I'm sitting there watching a video or something, like one of these bigger channels sometimes, and, you know, they'll stop the videos, like, talk about Sonoran Desert Institute, or Black Rifle Coffee, or, uh, you know, HelloFresh.com, or whatever the fuck. It's like, dude, scummy, okay? Like, I, I mean... I get it, you gotta pay the bills, man, and, like, maybe my priorities are all fucked up, like, here on the internet, like, it's me screwing off with my friends every day, that, that's what it is, you know, sometimes you get a serious rant, sometimes you get a good idea, sometimes you get me fucking around, sometimes you get me still having a buzz rolling out of bed in the morning, making no absolute fucking sense of any kind, it, it just happens, you know, sometimes I go on a fucking politically fueled tirade about why everybody in the entire government can eat my fucking shirts, but for somebody to take money, you know, it kind of clouds their judgment, right? Like, I'm not against money. Like I said, I, I love money. I wish I had more of it, you know. Well, I don't actually care for money, but, like, I care for, you know, not having to worry about the money. You know, that's the big thing, right? Paying the bills. And for people to sit there and, like, I drink Black Rifle coffee because they support the Second Amendment. No, the fuck they don't. Those people at Black Rifle Coffee are the biggest sellout shills and cucks you will ever find. They don't give one flying fuck about your right to own guns. What they care about is that they're a society of vet bros, right? And I'm not knocking veterans. There's a lot of awesome veterans out there. But there is that vet bro culture of like, oh, I was in Afghanistan. Well, I was in Afghanistan too. Cool, let's go run around in a helmet and make the money on the YouTube and sell people shit. You know, it's like, fuck off. Like, ain't nobody buying it. Or, you know, I'm not even going to get in the whole fucking prepper verse with that chestnut. Like, I see a lot of people that, you know, started out small. And then they start taking the money, right? It's like, ooh, I want to try this new product. I want to try that new product. Try my 50-in-1 survival shovel. It's like, that thing ain't going to be good for doing a damn thing. with. You can't even hit somebody with it and it fucking stay straight after you're done smacking somebody. I know, you can tell by the way the damn thing's built and the way they're using it. You know, it's cool to, like, take money from the advertisers and, and do your little fucking thing about, like, hey, man, you know, try this kind of survival food stuff, you know, it tastes all right, it ain't too expensive, and, you know, it's, it's better to be safe and sorry. Do it honestly. Don't be like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever had. Look at this. Thrive life, you know, pile it in your pie hole. Like, that stuff is fucking expensive. It's overpriced. It probably don't taste very good, and if it does, it's still damned expensive. 
And at the end of the day, what are you stockpiling the shit for? Like, if you ain't going to use it later, okay, that's fine. But a lot of us live in a, a land called reality, right, where there's such a thing as a budget and the bills to pay and the mouths to feed, in addition to the getting prepared for thing, right? So, like, if I just decided I wanted a snack and I, I started opening one of them number 10 cans of August and I put back in, in the long, long ago and, and started eating peanut butter powder, well, yeah, it probably tastes all right, right? But... Uh, what's going to happen when I need this shit later? See what I'm saying? For what those cans cost, right? Probably five of those cans, if I open them right now, I couldn't replace it with one. My apologies, I had a cigarette fall in my fucking shirt. I'm just all out of sorts today. It's not walking worth a damn. Yeah, that's another thing, right? You know, these gun companies, and this is a big fucking pet peeve of mine. They'll, like, take people like 22 Plankster or whatever, and they're like, look, a new folding rifle, and it spins the muzzle towards you, and, you know, so it's a 9mm PCC. So what the fuck does that folding rifle do that every other gun in the entire free world doesn't do? Like, come on, man. <clears throat> you know, they're talking about it's the greatest thing since wet vagina, right? Well, I, I highly doubt that, because wet vagina fucking rocks, okay? The juicier, the better, right? Who am I to judge? Yeah. It's just like boobs, right? You, you don't have to advertise boobs. Like, everybody loves boobs. They're, they're fucking awesome. Boobs rock. Shout out to boobies, right? Little and small, they're fun to play with all, okay? You know, that's another fucking thing that really gets on my nerves, too. It's like, you know, these people that uh, run cooking shows, right? And their thumbnail is like... A girl holding up some salad or whatever that she cut up in the kitchen. And she's holding a pair of Triple D's over the plate. Like, anybody's thinking about their fucking lunch at that point. Like, come on, man. You know, and I'll admit, I get clickbaited more than I should. I mean, fuck it, I'm a sucker for a good thumbnail. And I'll freely admit it, right? That's why I don't put any effort in this shit. I figure if you want to listen, you want to listen. If not, that's fine, too. I don't really care. But if you're going to clickbait me, right, there's two ways to do it. Get a brand new gun that looks and runs amazing, okay? And put it in the thumbnail, right? Or do some kind of test with it. Not destructive. To, I hate destructive testing. It irritates me to no end. Or do something cool like put boobs in your thumbnail, right? Everybody loves boobs, you know? Like them chicks that do yoga on the internet. They ain't doing it because they want to get healthy. They're doing it because they want to fucking get men's attention. And they do a very good job of it, I might add. You click on one of them thumbnails with a... It's like, I don't know why boys like me so much. And she's like got her legs up over her head waving at you. You can damn near see her tonsils through her yoga pants. Like, of course, that's why you click on the fucking video. It ain't because you're trying to get healthy. Now, a lot of people do. and I'm not knocking getting healthy. But like I said, men think two ways, okay? Can I eat this and can I fuck this? And if the answer is neither, you're probably going to tear it to pieces. That, that's always been my dad's response to this question, and uh, I think it's uh, more true than not. <sighs> you know? And, and there's a lot to be said. Like They do some creative advertising. Like, I've seen some really cool advertisements over the years, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not knocking it, but at the end of the day, your commercial overlord is fighting for your hard-earned dollar, right? And, you know, they want your money. And that's what the media is. That's what YouTube is. It's a way to generate money. I'm sure they make money off my damn rantings and videos. I wouldn't be surprised if Lucky Strike sending them fucking cigarettes. Like, truth be told. Just because I, I mentioned the Lucky Strike. I love the Lucky Strikes, man. Of course, these Pall Malls aren't terrible. But, you know, I had to work with what I had until payday. And I'm going to venture out today and go get me some smokes and uh, maybe something else. I don't know. We'll see about the budget. But... The point of this is, if you're going to clickbait somebody, man, do it good. Like, don't just, you know, clip in X amount of commercial here. Don't don't clip in, you know, a little random ill-placed promotion there. Like, for example, if I'm talking about carry ammo and then I hold up a box of my actual carry ammo, I'm like, this is the good shit right here. You know I'm not telling you something because they're giving me money. You're going to see my local gun shop's price tag on the damn thing for probably way too much. And it's like, this is the shit that I carry to save my life. Or, you know, like if I hold up a pack of Lucky Strikes, like, these fucking things are delicious. You know, I, I feel they're delicious. It's just like I've asked Duke's Mayonnaise to sponsor me, right? As a joke. You know? 
so I can, you know, run around like Brandon Buckingham and cover the people in the mayonnaise, right, as an insult. That might occur later in nature, too, but I just don't know. But yeah, paid advertisements, man. Like, you get what you pay for, and a lot of the times they're getting paid a lot of money to push your shit down your throat. And if you're going to do it, make it classy, you know? And as always, uh, if you don't like what I have to say about a word from our sponsor, Lucky Strike or Striker or fucking Mr. 9mm or, you know, Gwen, the love of my life, who's probably having a nap right now, uh, and eat, eat my fucking shorts, have a fantastic day.